You are looking live at Lynchburg, Virginia's Liberty University. Uh, that is the signal coming into us now. We hope to have an improvement in that signal. Uh, and uh, things are getting ready for Senator Ted Cruz, who will officially launch his run for the presidency this morning in that location. Looks like they were having a, a party right there. Big celebration. I was flashing back to the old show Hoot Nanny. Yeah? Uh, I'm, I'm a baby boomer, so that was uh, years ago. Years ago. Well, yeah, Cruz will be the first high-profile Republican to officially enter the 2016 race. A lot of people excited about this. And, uh, of course, the speculation has been underway for a long time about who's going to run and when. This at least ends that speculation, but uh, we need to talk about it. And yes. so to do that, we're very happy to, uh, to call in David Bossy, the president of Citizens United, to go in depth. Uh, David Bossy, you were in Iowa. Uh, with the whole Steve King uh, caucus, if you will, uh, having a lot of candidates out there, your take on Cruz, what he had to say in Iowa, what he'll have to say today. Well, we did. We had uh, Senator Cr uh, Ted Cruz and uh, about a dozen or 15 other Republican candidates, uh, potential candidates, uh, out at the Iowa Freedom Summit la about six weeks ago, as you mentioned, J.D., and uh, Steve King and I hosted all of them. and and. Ted Cruz just speaks truth to power. And that's really what I think as he's coming into his uh, day to day and launching his actual official candidacy, I think that's really his his message uh, to the American people that, you know, the 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 days uh, of uh, kicking the can down the road uh, are over and uh, we're going to have economic and foreign policy uh, problems that I think take very serious, sober thought uh, to, to try to get America back on the right track. And I think that's what Ted Cruz is going to bring to this campaign. And, and uh, I'm very excited to see him uh, get in the race today. Uh, David, obviously, uh, you and I have known each other for a long, long time. And we, we always... Not as long as hootenanny has been around. Well, that's long. true, man. Yeah, you're, you're younger. I'm surprised you're, you're younger than I am. But here, here's my question. Uh, we always hear from the consultant class in Washington that, oh, no, no, have to have a guy who's a moderate, have to have a guy from the establishment. Mm -hmm. it, is that why Ted's making this early start today? You know what? I think Ted has uh, picked his time. I, I don't know exactly why he picked today, but I can tell you, uh, you want to get out in front to make people have a clear choice. You know, uh, Ronald Reagan's pale pastels, bold colors. You know, what you need to do is show who you are and define yourself before your opponents can define you. That's an old Lee Atwater adage, uh, and, and he did it so successfully with many candidates. I think that's part of what Ted's thinking today is, let me go out there and talk directly to the American people, to the uh, conservative Republican uh, a voter base that will be making up most of the primary voters in, in, in uh, Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, and beyond. I, I think he wants to speak directly to him on his own um, uh, on his own terms. Now we were talking about his timing. What about his choice of venue? Why did he pick this particular university? You know, it's interesting. Uh, you know, it's a tremendous. Uh, university f uh, from a standpoint of uh, being very well known uh, across the conservative spectrum. Uh, Jerry Falwell's University in Virginia uh, really uh, gets the who's who of, of the conservative movement to come in there. So we're, I, that does not surprise me. His, his dad is a pastor, obviously. Uh, Ted Cruz's dad is a, is a pastor. Uh, it, I think it fits right into what Ted's belief is that the uh, electorate is looking for. And I think he's speaking directly to the conservative movement and to uh, the religious conservative movement all at the same time. I think it's a very smart choice. 30 seconds remain, Dave Bossie. Uh, in, in terms of this audience and this group, is he trying to elbow in uh, on Mike Huckabee's turf? 
Well, golly, you know, that's a great question. And it goes to your question earlier about whether, you know, you can beat out the moderates. Look, there are multiple folks who are going to go for that moderate vote this time. Usually there's one moderate and a bunch of conservatives. This year there seems to be a lot of folks taking away that establishment. They, they aren't necessarily establishment candidates, but they're going to be eating into it. And that's a good thing in my book. I think Ted Cruz uh, is a very exciting candidate. I think he, uh, Mike Huckabee, Rick Santorum, uh, you know, all kind of running in the same lane. And I think this is going to be, to use the uh, NCAA tournament here, I think you're going to see some bracketology going on. Uh, we will mm -hmm. check on that. Could be some upsets. Uh, David Bossy, we appreciate your time. We're monitoring what's happening in Lynchburg. We'll be right back.